Hi all, welcome to Quarantine Lecture Series 3. Today we are going through the poem Trophy Cascade by Camille T. Tenchi. Camille T. Tenchi is an American poet and professor. She is the author of four poetry collections include Trophy Cascade, Smith Blue, Second the Marrow and What to Eat, What to Drink, What to Leave for Poison. Tenchi is the editor of Black Nature, Four Centuries of African American Nature Poetry. Trophy Cascade What does Trophy Cascade mean? Trophy Cascade is an ecological phenomenon triggered by the addition or removal of top predators predator you know animals kill and live by eating other animals called predator an apex predator also known as alpha predator or trope predator trope predator is also known as alpha predator or apex predator predator is at the top of a food chain top predator means a predator stands at the top of a food chain. Removal of these predators will make reciprocal changes in the relative populations of predator and prey through a food chain. That is what the core idea of this poem. Removal of a top predator. How does the removal of a top predator affect the nature? That is what the central idea of this poem. Let us see the picture. Here you can see a top predator. Here you can see both the top predators. A bird is there and a fish. This is a food chain. Food chain, you have studied food chain in uh, small classes. From this food chain, we can understand that what happens if we remove the top predator. Top predator is the predator who stands at the top, top of this food chain. So what will happen if we remove the top predators? If we remove the top predators, there will be some changes in ecosystem. That is what we are going to deal in this poem, Trophic Cascade. This phenomenon is called Trophic Cascade. The word Trophic Cascade means this phenomenon. Which phenomenon? The connection between top predators and other members in a food chain. And there happens some reciprocal changes, some drastic changes in the ecosystem if we remove the top predator. That is what we can see in this poem. See, the top predator is in both food chain. What will happen if we remove the top predator from the earth? If we remove this eagle, what will happen? The number of snakes will increase. Am I right? That you know. What will happen if there are more snakes? Can we kill all the snakes? Never. This is the reason. This ecological phenomenon is called trophic cascade. So, if the top predator will be removed, what happens? Nothing will sustain. Other creatures cannot sustain. If the number of snakes increases, that will eat all the frogs then there will not be frogs. If there will not be frogs, what happens? Other creatures who are normally eaten by frogs will increase. That will affect the nature. This balancing system of ecology is called trophic cascade. Hope you understood the word. That's it. I will tell you another simple example that is familiar to you. Actually, we have not entered to the poem. Before entering to the poem, I will give you one more example to see the impact of trophic cascade. Do you know wild boar? Wild boar. You can see the picture. This is what wild boar. In Malayalam, we call Katubani. These, These wild, wild boar comes to, come the to the village from the forest and they attack the people and their crops. Widely. You have watched the news or you might have seen the pictures in newspaper. This wild boar comes to our places and attack the people and attack the crops. Why do these wild boars come to our place 
have you ever checked the reason there is an actual reason in earlier days they did not come to our places because they got what they want from the forest itself but nowadays their population has becoming richer so they do not get anything from the forest because that when we we know that when population increases we don't get that much food that much resources that is what happens in forest so we needed to balance the population of wild boar how can we balance the population of wild boar can we kill them can we go for hunting no it will not be possible but nature itself had a balancing system in the history that means there were top predators like what we can call tiger leopards wolves you know there were many tigers uh, actually it is not tiger uh, leopards they ate or they they were the top predators in that list they killed many wild boars and they balanced the ecology now we cannot see tigers or leopards or even wolves this poem is also having the story of wolves so what happens if the number of tiger decreases when the number of tiger decreases the number of wild boar increases what happens when the number of wild boar increases they come to our places and they will attack our farmlands and they will attack the people see this is the balancing of nature so if we needed to balance the nature if we needed to balance the ecosystem there must be top predators in the food chain that is what happening so if we remove the top predators the ecosystem will have some reciprocal reciprocal uh, reciprocal changes that is what we can see in this beautiful and meaningful and very relevant poem trophic cascade written by camille t denji let us go through the lines after the reintroduction of gray wolves to yellow stone as anticipated their culling of deer trees grew by the deer stand of the mid century the lines contains the exact meaning we need not to go beyond the lines we will get the meaning directly from the lines after the reintroduction of gray wolves to yellowstone yellowstone is a national park in america after the reintroduction of gray wolves that means there were no gray wolves in yellowstone national park before they were introduced there were some problems but after the introduction or reintroduction of gray wolves some changes occurred in yellowstone national park yellowstone i have already told you yellowstone national park is an american national park located in the western united states yellowstone was the first national park in united states and is also widely held to be the first national park in the world so this gray wolves you can see the picture this gray wolves were introduced reintroduced to yellowstone national park what was the reason as anticipated their culling of animals uh culling means control the size of group of animals by killing some animals their culling of deer in yellowstone national park there were many deers deer you know see the picture this deers ate all the grass and small plants so there were no possible condition for trees to grow up in yellowstone national park there occurred many stunt of deer and in the mid century that affect the ecosystem in their upreach songbirds nested who scattered seed for underbrush 
and in the in that cover wear and snow shoe hair weasel and water shoe returned also wool and so came soon hawk and falcon bald eagle kestrel and with them hawk shadow falcon shadow see these lines say that what happened after the reintroduction of grey wolves in yellowstone national park before the introduction of grey wolves there were many numbers of deer they were standing they were eating all the green all the greenery of the national park in their approach songbirds nested the trees started grow up small trees started grow up small plants started grow up after the controlling of gray uh, after the controlling of uh, deer by gray wolf some seeds a uh, bird started came and they nested in the park in the trees who scattered seeds for under under brush under brush you know small trees small plants uh, growing under the large trees and in the cover wear and snow shoe hair wear and snow shoe hair after the increasing of this kind of under brush what happens snow shoe hair a particular kind of hair rabbit you can see the picture they started coming to the national park and another creature that is weasel weasel you can see the picture weasel small mongoose like creature weasel and water shrew you can see water shrew returned they were in the national park but the number of deer increased and deer started eating all the green items all the plants and trees that is what so the point is that if we have no much tigers no much wolves what will happen the number of animals like deer and other cattle will increase and they eat everything every green thing of the hill of the mountain that will affect the ecosystem that will affect the ecology that is what the main point in yellowstone national park there were many deer and the size of uh, the size of the population of deer controlled by the reintroduction of grey wolves so these animals came to the park not only these animals also wall wall is a kind of wild rat you can see the picture and so came soon hawk birds hawk falcon bald eagle kestrel and with them hawk shadow falcon shadow these kinds of birds started arriving in this national park because there uh, there grew more underbrush and a particular kind of trees that is comfortable for these birds and uh, eagle shade and kestrel shade haunted newly buried brunels small stream so we can see that many birds arrived in yellowstone national park birds like falcon bald eagle kestrel and with them hawk shadow falcon shadow eagle shade and kestrel shade haunted newly buried runnel runnels that means birds came to newly buried runnels runnels means small stream were deer deer no longer ramaged ramage means such unsystematically means they get food for getting food that means in the beginning in yellowstone national park the the number of deer were la uh, many num uh, the number of deer were not uh, there were 
<coughs> in the beginning in yellowstone national park there were many deer so for them it was not easy to get food so they rummaged searched unsystematically when some animals search food unsystematically that affects the ecosystem that affect many plants that affects many other creatures so now the number is culled or controlled so they did not rummaged no longer rummaged means they get food no fight no stunt for food cautious as they were but now they are cautious because now of being suppressed by walls there were gray walls gray walls walls gray walls introduced to this national park but there were no gray walls in the absence of gray walls they stunned they rum uh, they rummaged because the number was high there were many deer cautious as they were they were now they are cautious because there are gray walls they may attack them berries brought beer 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 you know you can see the picture Be, uh, there were berry trees many berry trees started growing so that brought beer while undergrowth and willows growing now right down to the river many other trees and undergrowth undergrowth means plants under trees and willows willow you know the tree that is used for making cricket bat so uh, undergrowth willows growing now right down to the river brought beavers who dam other creature started arriving in yellowstone national park uh, like a beaver beaver you know a semi aquatic animal like a rat you can see the picture of beaver here uh, see see this is beaver who uh, beaver has a habit of making dams small dams they make a small dam in streams with a wood pieces collected uh, near the river they make a dams small dams that you can see and other creature musk rats musk rats large rats see the picture musk rats large rats came to the dams the tadpoles tadpoles you know uh, the larvatic stage of frogs initial stage of frogs they came to that place came to the night song of the fathers of tape tape poles and the yellowstone park is now having the song the sound of frogs sound of tape poles they sing in uh, sing in night that you know where in the time of rain we can see the sound of frogs here also and you know what happens if there are more snakes the frogs will not be there with the water striders another kind of uh, insects that is water strider you can see the picture water striders the dark gray american dipper bobbed american dipper bobbed in fresh pools a particular kind of creature you can see american dipper that bobbed that bird bobbed in fresh pools bobbed means fly up and down in fresh pools of the river small pools you can see in that river that is made by who made uh, beavers that creature i have uh, shown the picture beavers made some dams and in that dams there came what american dipper small fresh pools of the river and fish stayed many fish stayed and the beer beer stayed uh, beer stayed in the park why there are fish who fished also culled deer fawns and beer also controlled the culling of 
deer fawns deer fawns means small deer small deer the number of small deer culled controlled by controlled by the arrival of what arrival of uh, bear who fished also culled the deer population uh, uh, for, uh, culled deer fawns means small deer and to kill their to kill scraps to kill the body parts scraps since there are body parts what happens there came vulture and coyote you know what is vulture vulture eats the uh, kill scraps uh, vulture eats the skill uh, kill scraps of man and other animal so after the arrival of bear there we can see many kill scraps body parts of the animal body parts of the fawns small deer that invited that attracted vulture and coyote coyote is an animal smaller than a uh, gray wolves and another animal coyote see the picture of vulture and coyote long gone in the region vulture and coyote long gone in the region until now and their scat scattered seed long gone in the region until now until this period after the reintroduction of gray wolves until this period all the creatures scattered seeds after eating food they scattered the seeds and more trees brush trees and brush and berries grew up along the river small trees large trees blackberries berries grew up along with the river so many plants started growing the river side in yellowstone national park after the reintroduction of gray wolves because gray wolves controlled the population of what controlled the population of deer and deer attracted uh, that affected others that made another uh, many changes in the ecosystem there now we can see ponds uh, pools there came uh, bear there came many birds many other aquatic or semi aquatic creature so every changes happened to yellowstone national park after the introduction or after the reintroduction of gray wolf so this is what we can see as a creature an animal can control the ecosystem because that animal was a top predator in the food cycle so this is what the importance of having or controlling the size of uh, wild animals predators so uh, that is what we can see uh, many trees grew up along the river that had run straight and so flooded but this dammed compelled to meter is less prone to overrun don't you tell me this is not the same as my story the poet concludes the poem by saying some autobiographical autobiographical elements all this life born from one hungry animal this whole new landscape the course of the river changed wait we can go to the conclusion before that once again i focus on the main point is that after the reintroduction of gray wolves many changes occurred in yellowstone national park there we can now see many berries many trees growing up and uh, the river had run straight and so flooded the river had a straight flowing straight and so flooded had run straight and slow slow had run straight and so flooded but this dammed river a flew in the same way but those creature dammed they compelled to meander so the river had some changes because of these kind of creatures that i have already told about the creatures like beaver 
that small creature may make some changes in the river so the river became uh, dammed compelled to meander in a different uh, zigzag motion as small uh, streams is less prone to overrun so what happened no overrunning when a river overrun that occurs there occurs some changes in the river side nothing happened don't you tell me this is not the same as my story poet is also having some kind of autobiographical element with the connection of trophic cascade she says she concludes uh, by saying by mentioning that that we can see in the last all this life born from one hungry animal all the changes happen to the nat nature happen to yellowstone national park that is because of one hungry animal the gray wolf because it's a top predator this whole new landscape this whole new landscape of yellowstone national park you can see in the picture a uh, whole new landscape was born was made because of the arrival of this one hungry animal the course of the river changed the course of the river entirely changed after the arrival of that hungry animal so that hungry animal became the root cause of the new changes happened to this landscape and this river yellowstone national park i know this this is also happened in her life because there is an another trophic cascade that happens in human life how i reintroduced myself to myself poet reintroduced herself to herself myself to myself means this time a mother poet was a lady that you know but he became a mother he considered herself as reintroduction reintroduction so being a mother is a reintroduction of myself for poet being a mother is a reintroduction that's uh, that's for all reintroduction of myself to myself this time as a mother after which nothing was ever the same when she became a mother everything changed like everything changed to the landscape of yellowstone national park the course of the river changed after the arrival of a hungry animal here there arrived an another creature the baby of the poet that made a lot of changes after which nothing was ever the same poet concludes the poem in an eco feminist aspect she connects the ecological phenomena trophic cascade into human cascade effect she it connects the ecological phenomena trophic cascade into a human cascade effect uh, effect instruction of fear baby means the birth of his baby changes uh, after the reintroduction of the introduction of her baby brought many changes birth of his baby changes the surroundings of her life so she started reinventing herself that is what happened in the case of elostor national park also the reintroduction of gray wolves changed everything in elostor national park this is what the simple and meaningful and very interesting poem trophic cascade says to the readers so we need to understand the main element of poem that i have already discussed so the introduction of a gray wolf a top predator had brought many changes into yellowstone national park hope you have understood the idea if you have any doubts you can make comments and the question answers are very simple you will get direct answers thank you for listening